Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? It's a revolution. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and in this video uh, we're gonna be drifting a limo in Forza Motorsport 6 something that I never thought I would actually say but welcome we're gonna actually do a build um, on a limousine it's uh, it's one of the new cars from the new car pack as you guys may or may not know there is a new car pack that has been released for Forza Motorsport 6 right now and there's a limo in it. There's a Cadillac XTS limousine. Now this thing only has 304 brake horsepower so it's not very very powerful and it weighs five and a half I don't know what it you could say tons but like I don't know it weighs five and a half thousand pounds which is huge. It weighs a lot. So, what we're gonna need for this thing is a lot of horsepower. So, let's just do it. I, I don't even know what this thing is gonna be like stock, but I'm gonna engine swap this. I'm gonna give it as much power as I possibly can. This is gonna be amazing. So, I am going to put in the 5.9 liter racing V8 into this thing, which will now make it have 890, or sorry, 825 brake horsepower. It is all-wheel drive. Oh, it's front-wheel drive! Oh my god! Okay, so it's a front-wheel drive limo. Let's uh, put this to rear-wheel drive really quick here. And now we got at least something to work with. Why is there kits that you can do to this thing? I... Uh, yes! For all the downforce that we need. Let's, let's add that on. Of course. Because this car is... It just screams downforce. It, it screams... Uh, I don't even know, um, but we are gonna give it some sports tires because of the amount of horsepower that we're gonna be running. 255s on the front and on the rear we got some 255s there as well. Wheels, um, not sure. I, I I have to shift the camera every single time because I have no idea what the wheels look like on this car. Um, all right, let's see here. What the? What can we add on this thing? I'm gonna add something stupid, something that. Hmm, something with a little bit of dish, I kind of like, or not a dish, but with a bit of a, of offset in the middle kind of suits this thing, so I'll, yeah, I'm going for these. I'll keep them on chrome though, I'm not going to change those. Alright, so that's fine. Here, we'll bring the size up to 21 inch. Perfect. Perfect for a drift car. This is, this is just wonderful right now. Um, do the same thing to the rear. Come on, let's add that in. All right, all right. So now pretty much everything else, we're pretty much just supposed to be upgrading. All right, springs. Let's see how much this drops. Yes. Yes, let's scrape this thing off the floor. Yes, let's do that. All right, we're going to get around the roll bars. Uh, Power-wise, I don't know if I'm going to add any more horsepower. I'm going to keep it at the 825. I think that's going to be more than enough for, for this thing. We are going to get rid of another 1,200 pounds, apparently. So this thing is now going to weigh 4,500 pounds, which is still quite a lot. Uh, if I upgrade this thing, it'll again up getting 900 horsepower. I'll keep the 825 for now. If I need to do anything else, I, I guess I'll just upgrade that if I need a little bit more power. But for now, we'll leave it there with that. And let's go into test drive because that way we're actually going to be able to sort of... Um, I'm going to go on... Uh, I'm going to go on Indianapolis. I'm going to go on uh, I'm gonna go on this one the classic Grand Prix circuit let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing to slide see if we can get this thing to even I don't know if I can actually get one full slide with this thing if I can like go from one end of the corner to the other end of the corner completely sideways even if I can't transition in this thing even if I can't do anything crazy with it if I can go from one end of the corner to the other Okay, so we won't do a burnout. Oh my god. I can't tell how long this thing is. It Oh my god! <laughs> Why is this a thing? I think the wing just does it. I think the wing just make okay, I, when, when, when do I turn? Here? Oh god. I went a little bit too fast. 
I went a little bit too fast there. The suspension's really soft right now. Oh my god! What am I doing? What am I doing right now? I feel like it's slightly lacking a little bit of horsepower. I don't know what to what to start turning with this with this thing. If it, okay, I I'm blo <laughs> I'm fucking blown away, dude. It feels so weird to drive, cause when you think like okay, there we go. You think that this would be very. Like, I guess big, you could say? Obviously it's huge, but I still know exactly where to put the front of my car so I don't go onto the grass. Oh, the back! Okay, it's fine, we need to turn, out, turn around here anyway. Um, but like, I feel like it's lacking just a little bit of horsepower. I think if I can bring it up like a little bit more, I think it would be perfect, but I think we can just solve that with the PS sign the tires. We need the tire the back tires to slip a little bit more than what they are now. I think the front is fine, but the back we need to slip a little bit more. So I'm gonna bring the PSI up just a little bit so we can uh do that. The gears, I feel third gear is sort of doing the job mostly. Uh I'm gonna bring this up just a little bit though. Uh camber, let's see. Pretty basic tune to the camber. Something similar to this. Uh the toe, bring this up to positive two degrees. Again, I'm drifting on a controller, so everything may vary for you guys that are using a wheel. Um, anti roll bars, let's soften these up. Soften the anti roll bars quite a bit, because uh, I think using the using the body roll would help quite a lot for this thing to initiate drifts and stuff. Uh, springs stiffen these a little bit, especially the back actually, because the back is where I'm having a little bit of problem with the tires. Okay, there we go. Lower this as much as we can. Uh, dampers, rebound stiffness, we bring this down quite a lot because of the twitchiness of the controller. Even though I didn't really notice it too much when I was driving this thing. Bump stiffness is fine. Uh, and then the diff, set to 100%. Bring this to around 90% and then bring this down to around 50%. Alright, should be something, something like that. Alright. This is... Okay. Okay, okay, Lemo. Okay, okay, okay. feel like it... Okay. It honestly feels like a normal car. I expected this to be a lot worse than this. I honestly did. Where are we turning here? We're turning in here, aren't we? I expected this to be a, a much worse car. Okay, let's do a cockpit view. Let's try a cockpit view a little bit. Ah, uh, it sucks so bad that I can't look behind me. All right. Okay. Went a bit too fast. Uh, back it. Okay, we're on the tr we're off the track. I mean. It honestly feels like a normal car. It doesn't feel. It doesn't feel too big. Maybe a little bit too big. But you just sort of have to be careful with where you put it and... I mean, it's it's not too bad. <laughs> I feel like the tires don't do it justice. I feel like I'm on street tires right now with this thing. Honestly. Oh, there's the back. Uh, I honestly feel like I'm on street tires with this thing. Even though I'm on sports right now, it feels like they... I don't know, they don't, like, hold it. Maybe because this thing weighs so much, actually, that makes perfect sense. It's because the thing, this thing weighs so much, and when I'm going sideways, it's sort of... A lot more, a lot more stress on a tire. But the sports tires feel... Look. Look at the body weight just bringing this out so wide. So that's pretty much something that I have to sort of be careful with. I 
honestly like drifting on, on street tires on most of my cars, so this doesn't really bother me too much. But, uh, I just have to be quite careful with, uh, with this specifically because it's really, really long. Oh, there, there it goes again. Just a little bit of a flick and it brings the back out so much. I think I'm on the grass a little bit. Alright. So there is a drift build on the Cadillac XTS limousine. This thing is an absolute monster. So funny to drive. So, so funny. And we need to get some serious angle with this thing. That's what I need to do. I, I need to like hop into this thing and go full throttle. And just get some serious angle. This is funny. The wing just, just makes it so much better. I think I have to do like a crazy, crazy design on this thing as well. If I'm gonna make this uh, into a full on drift car. But for now, for this video, thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Some fourth gear action. Grind the wall, grind that wall, grind it. Fucking goddamn it. <laughs> Alright. One more, one more, one more. High speed entry, let's go. Bit of reverse entry. Oh, I'm way off. Way off. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright. Well then, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.